Two new gift with purchases just showed up on lego.com. They run from June 20th to June 28th while supplies last. I've got lego.com on the right screen and I've got our cumulative table through June 15th on our left screen. Welcome back to KDX Bricks Analytics. Let's get right into it. When I go to lego.com, my Rakuten and Honey reminders from the plugins pop right up for me, which is great. Always use Rakuten or Honey. I've only used Honey once and my savings is pending. It takes a few months. I've used Rakuten a number of times. So far, they're both great as I can tell. And so I just wanted to point those out since those popped up for me on lego.com. Never leave cash on the table. Always grab, even if it's just a little bit at a time, it always adds up. Like I said in the intro, this video is about two new gift with purchases that just posted. The first one right here is the Lego Dots Big Box running from 620 to 628. You have to spend $70 on Lego City, Disney Princess, Dots, Friends, and or Harry Potter. Of that list, only Friends or Harry Potter are the themes that I'll be looking at for investing. And then scrolling down, the gift with purchase we're all really excited about that we knew was coming is this next Lego Houses of the World. This is the second one. You need to spend $250 or more on anything. And then the third GWP is the Summer Fun VIP add-on pack that's been out for a little while now. And it seems like Lego is always having one of these add-on packs going at all times. It rolled right from the spring to the summer very quickly. So this one we knew about, this one we knew was coming, but we hadn't really seen it yet. And then this one was a little bit of a surprise to us, which is pretty good. So looking at these in more detail, 40607, the add-on pack, pretty good. A lot of pieces in this pack. And let me look here, it is actually 118 pieces. It's got the stuffed bunny rabbit and the Santa's hat for a summer add-on pack, which is kind of cool. A snake and a bunch of colorful pieces, some coral, some different foliage, transparent blue pieces, blue and yellow marbled parrot, which always looks good. A lot of good pieces in this set, so nice to get another one of those. And then here is the big box dot set, 41960. 479 pieces. Of course, a lot of them are very small, but still pretty good. And I like that purple and pinkish, the aqua color and then I think that's that bright highlighter yellow color now but that looks pretty good if we look on eBay we can see that it's going for about $25 before shipping and fees just three of them posted in the last couple of months and now to the big one houses of the world number two just as the first one it has the house and a little tree out front which is very nice these look pretty good is $250 worth it I don't know, maybe. I'm actually not gonna be getting these. I missed out on the first one. And the big reason is when you look at these pictures, they are not fully enclosed. They are almost fully enclosed. They're probably a little bit more enclosed than your average creator or city building that is not designed to be enclosed. But I wish they just hung one panel there on the back so it could be fully enclosed if you wanted. Kind of like how they hung the panels on the Daily Bugle set, that large, tall building. But because these are not fully enclosed, I downgrade them a little bit, even though they do look really good lots of great detail here's another nice shot from the front that looks very good and actually let me zoom in yeah the front of these look really good good stickers on there good detail i like the color scheme because this one is north africa themed and so that definitely looks spot on. I think those represent clothes on a clothesline drying out up there, which is a nice touch. Columns out front are nice. And then the little railing on the balcony. Looking at brick set, this is the second one, like I said, and we're still waiting for number three and number four to be released. They too will be gift with purchases. If we look at eBay, the second one here that just came out is running about $45, even up to 57 it looks like before shipping, but I think that'll come down just a touch once it gets out on the market a little bit more. Oh, and don't forget, even on eBay, you can use Rakuten. But more importantly, to give us a comparable, here is the Houses of the World number one set, 40583. And looking at these, it's about 45 or so dollars. And one last look at comparables, here we are at Camel 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 for the first house in this line. When it first came out, it was running about $70 on third party and now it's in $60 on Amazon. So that all is pretty comparable. Back to lego.com. Let's run through some simulations to get all three of these gift with purchases. And yes, in order to get the dots box, you have to do Harry Potter or friends or a couple others that I'm not gonna be looking at. For me, anytime there is a gift with purchase that I'm gonna be spending the dollar amount, I'm gonna make sure that I buy the right sets so that I get all the gift with purchases. That's how you get the most bang for the buck. Let's first look at the Harry Potter sets. A lot of 
new sets have just come out that are pretty interesting. I'm not going to be investing in any of the new sets yet because I don't want to have a very long hold time. But scrolling down here, we are to one of my favorites, the Professors of Hogwarts. So I'm going to add that to my bag and continue shopping. And I'm going to add a second one to my shopping cart. That way I'm at $80 for the Harry Potter set to meet the $70 threshold for the Dots gift with purchase. And then we are here on the ideas page and scrolling down. A lot of good sets here, but I am going to go straight to the Medieval Blacksmith. Looking on our cumulative table here on the left, the Medieval Blacksmith has 22 mentions with an e-score of 2.6. And I did mean to show you the Professors of Hogwarts, which has 11 mentions with an e-score of 2.5. So both of those are projected to do very well by the LEGO investing and reselling community here on YouTube. Coming back to lego.com, let me add in the Medieval Blacksmith. And now I'm gonna go up to my bag. Here it shows all of my gift with purchases. After tax, about $275. Two of the professors of Hogwarts sets, one medieval blacksmith currently on back order right now, and then each of the three gift with purchases that we talked about. Take a note that the fleece throw blanket is no longer showing up. Even though it dropped off of lego.com after the first day or so, along with the pirate ship playground set, it was still showing up in your cart if you order $200 or more for a little while. I didn't pull the trigger on that one. In my opinion, that fleece throw blanket was an absolute throwaway. All right, so that's one good example where you can buy good sets for investing and reselling and get all of the gift with purchases. I'm gonna clear that these sets out and now do another simulated example. Here we are back at the Harry Potter sets scrolling through. Maybe you don't want to get two of those brick heads. Maybe you want to get one of the house banners that's going to do well. At least a lot of people are thinking. Let's look on the list here. The Ravenclaw house banner has seven mentions with an e-score of 2.7. That's really good. All expected to retire at the end of this year. Hufflepuff house banner, same thing. And then the Gryffindor and Slytherin house banners have e-scores of 2.8. So maybe you want to get one of those. My favorite of the four is the Hufflepuff house banner. So I'm going to add that to bag. And without getting too creative, I'm going to come down here here and do one of the professors of Hogwarts in this scenario. Now this time, let's pick up some Star Wars sets to get to the $250 threshold. Republic fighter tank, great set. I'm gonna add one of those. Scrolling down, I love the dioramas, as you know. Oh, and I keep forgetting on the table here, Republic fighter tank is the top of the list. 41 mentions, e-score of 2.7. All right, now scrolling back down, gonna go to the best Star Wars brickhead set that's out right now, Battle of Endor Heroes. That's a $40 set, so add that. And this time, to remember to look at the table for this one. It has 10 mentions, but only an e-score of 2.2. It should be much higher, but people are thinking that it's a, a little bit of a trick or smoke and mirrors that it's listed on the retirement list so far. If it does retire at the end of this year, it's only gonna have eight months. A lot of people are thinking it's gonna go well into the next year. And then lastly, the Inquisitor Transport Scythe, one of my favorite sets, as you know. I'm gonna add one of those. And on the table here, 14 mentions with an e-score of 2.8. That is amazing. All right, I think that's everything that I wanted to add in this example. So let me go to the cart. Now this time the cart says my order total is $308 after taxes, 289 before taxes. If I dropped out either the Republic Fighter Tank or the Star Wars Brickhead set, then I would be just shy, like 249 and I think 96 cents or something like that, just shy of getting all three of the gift with purchases. Since I've already hit my limit of the Ahsoka Tano Brickheads, I said, all right, whatever, I would just buy another $40 set in this scenario. So yes, we're a little higher than the 250 mark, which would be ideal if you haven't already hit your limit on Ahsoka Tano or some other small set, maybe the new $15 Land Rover Creator set that is awesome, then you could get this price a little closer to $250 before taxes. But in this scenario, scrolling down, all three of our gift with purchases are included, and then all five of these great sets not a bad deal for just over $300 and all of the benefits. All right, now one last example. Let's do Friends this time. So scrolling down on the Friends page, a few really good sets that have just come out. The Botanical Garden, the Heart Lake City Community Center, both of those are fantastic. But since they just come out and I don't want to hold on to boxes for too long here myself, then I'm going to wait on those. So instead, I'm going to pick sets that are projected to retire. So scrolling down the list here, I think a few of these are going to be pretty good winners. But the one that I want to pick in this scenario is a little further down. Oh, wait a second. Look at that Holiday Ski Slope Cafe. That is super cool looking. I hadn't seen that one yet. I think there was another one in here 
Yeah, this igloo holiday adventure, that one's okay, but the holiday ski slope and cafe looks amazing. All right, but getting to the one I was looking for. Okay, Olivia's Space Academy. It's space themed. It even has a NASA sticker on it, which is great. A lot of space themed sets that are NASA related historically do pretty well. I'm gonna take a flyer on this one and add that one to my cart. And then to get to the $250 threshold, I'm gonna go to Monkey Kids. So I'm going out on a limb on both of these just to have fun. I'm not actually making all these purchases. I will make some purchases, but I'm not sure exactly, but I wanna show a couple of examples. But scrolling down, the City of Lanterns is amazing. The Heavenly Realms is awesome, which is retiring at the end of this year. It is right here on the table. Only three mentions with an e-score of 1.7. I think this one's flying under the radar. Oh, and I did mean to point out that the first set that I picked there, Olivia's Space Academy, is also projected to retire at the end of this year. Continuing to scroll down on these, the last one I want to show you is Monkey Kids Team Hideout. This set is out of stock a lot. Now at $140, we wouldn't meet the $250 threshold. So I'm going to go back up to the Heavenly Realms and I'm going to select that set. And looking at my cart, same scenario as before, $260 before taxes gets me all three of the gift with purchases. All right, now that I've done those scenarios for you, here's an example. So if the total price before tax is $260 and you apply your VIP points, you get $13 in savings. I know that's kind of a quasi cash back, but still it's cash that can be used at Lego. If you use the 8% Honey, uh, which is PayPal reward system, that's $21 savings there. Doing the math and being conservative, the Dots Big Box will net you $15. And then same thing, being conservative with the Houses of the World. The second one will net you $30, which means your new total will be around $180, which means you will have a savings of $80, which is right at 30%. Overall, not a bad opportunity to get some pretty good sets at a decent discount from Lego.com. And before before we wrap up, I want to show you the three sets that I bought in my last video that was very similar to this. And they are right behind me. Two of 75336, the Inquisitor Transport Scythe. I love this set. 2.8 enthusiasm score on the table. So I got one of those. And here's the second one right behind me. So I'm just going to stack these up like that. And then the other one I got is this one 76956 t-rex breakout this one is a target exclusive i did get it from lego.com and i got that 20 dollars honey bonus this set is fantastic each of these three sets were a hundred dollars each this was back when there was double vip points a couple of weeks ago and i did three separate orders so that i could get all three let me get that in camera there we go one two and three of the summer vip add-on packs and then lastly when i did that order i was supposed to get a pirate ship playground gift with purchase with each of those and i had called lego ahead of time they told me it was going to happen and unfortunately it did not happen similar to a lot of other people that have been commenting on my videos but I did call up Lego again and they gave me VIP points to cover it. So I'm totally fine. Obviously I would much prefer to have the set, love anything that's pirate themed, but an equivalent amount of VIP points is good to go. And I'll use those for some future purchase that I'm looking forward to. So thanks for watching this video. Another fun one related to good deals and good rewards on Lego.com and Rakuten and Honey and all that. So again, thanks for watching. That's a wrap on this video and I will see you in the next one. Oh, and don't forget my videos are for entertainment purposes only. I do not provide financial advice. You got to get that from somebody else.